Greetings gamers, HNSN. And if you guys didn't know already, I love Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's probably now my favorite fighting game ever. And and the, the game is almost two years old. And since then, uh, um, the, the game has been great. Uh, um, with all the unique spirits you collect, the World of Light mode, even, <laughs> even though the, the Space Emissary from Brawl is, is, is better. Or, 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 the, or the excellent character roster, which I'll get to a minute, the stages. But yeah, like I was saying, most importantly, the character roster. The character roster is just one of the best parts of the game, because everyone is here. And they've even added a lot of new characters through DLC. We've seen the likes of Joker from Persona 5, the hero from Dragon Quest, Banjo and Kazooie, Terry Bogard from Fiddle Fury, Violet from Fireball Three Houses... Min Min from ARMS, and last but not least, Steve from Smash Bros. But more DLCs coming. And so far, we have four characters left for the Fighters Pass 2. What characters do I think they'll add? Well, what, 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 it was not actually about that mainly today, but today I, I want to talk about the characters that I really want for DLC. Let's go. Starting with. Starting off with Dr. Eggman. Let's go. It's like I was saying. First off, we got Eggman from we got Doctor Eggman from Sonic. Eggman would be really cool to have, and you can have a really good moveset because a we oh we don't have a villain from a non Nintendo franchise yet in Smash Bros. And b um I think they they probably go with them if they want to add another they want to add a villain from a third party. And and c he would have a really awesome moveset whether he's like on foot or something. Whether it's on foot or something, or like, or like a robot, so I think it'd be awesome. And maybe he could like fly on foot, like punch and kick, and, and maybe like set up robots as well for like for like special attacks and stuff. And then maybe like this final smash, he could like have the Death Egg robot or something, or all of his robotic creations. I mean, the possibilities overall are endless. I, I want Eggman to smash, bros. I think he'd be really cool. But let's go on to our next character. So next up, we've got. All right, next up we got Crash Bandicoot. All right, and next up we got a character that's, that's probably one of those requested characters to put in the game. But I really want Crash Bandicoot in Smash Bros. as well. He would be, you know, I, I think he'd be a really fun character. For, uh, um, he could like use Uka Uka or Aku Aku as like a shield, and, and, or or something. But um, uh, um, and, and maybe like he could use some kind of like spin attack. Maybe like if like a special attack. And for this that could be like a spin attack, and maybe like for for his um and maybe like for special attack he could like throw nitro or, or TNT. And for a final smash he could like like if you're like, like um it could be like a little a giant block of nitro or something, or maybe like he could use like the mask from Crash Bank before. I mean the possibility is like really endless, and I think he would be so good in Smash Bros. I really want him. So yeah. And, and, and maybe for like a second skin, they could have Coco in there too. I I I I, I mean, I would um love to see Coco as like a as a second skin as well, similar to being an Echo Fighter, basically. And and, and they have and they, and they could use her new appearances from Crash Bandicoot Four, and they have like like have like a and they it'd be like the first stage room. It could be like the stage for it. But let's move on, and the point, uh, and the last ones are super endless. Now let's go on to another character. All right, so next up we've got. Oh, oh wait, I forgot. All right, there we go. Next up we got Jibanyan from Yokai Watch. We've, we've, we've had Doctor Eggman from Sonic. We've had Crash Bandicoot, and then we got Jibanyan from Yokai Watch. Let's go. All right, so here we have. We have Jibanyan, and, 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 and I love the Yokai Watch series. I, I, I think he'd be a really fun character to have. For main attack, it, it could be like him scratching or something. And if like one of his special abilities in the Yokai Watch games, he gives up like a special attack, and, and then like, it could look like a giant scratch, for, like a smash attack, and like and, and for his final smash, he could it could be using like it could, it could use Paws of Fury, and it'd be really cool. And I hope and, and it'd be a really good choice. Considering that the level 5 has been going under a lot of problems recently, like there have been rumors that they might stop localizing games. So, um, so, so, so having them actually be really good as, as it could save them, it could help Yoko Watch 4, and it, and it could promote 
a possible localization of Yokai Watch 4, which I hope which, which I hope they release outside of Japan. And, and and the HD remake of Yokai Watch 1, which was on the 3DS, which is which also released in Japan. Age. Um, uh, maybe that could come as well. As, as especially since Yokai Watch used to be a big success in Japan. It's not not very it's not as successful now, but I think they could save the series and, and, and keep level five going by by making him in Smash Bros. But all that aside, though, it'd be really good, and and it, and it, and there'd be so much movement potential. Then they could use, and then they could use um the other um cat poke I mean I mean cat yokai as well, or something. Maybe like hovering hovering on it's like a second skin. And, and and I like that too. And I think a good way to, to and, and having a match would be would be a really good inclusion as it can help promote a localization of Yokai Watch Four, which which is still stuck in Japan. But but good thing oh yeah sorry for the stuttering. But good thing the Switch and PS Four are region locked, meaning you can you can log on to a Japanese PlayStation account. Yes, it's on PlayStation. And you can look on to your Switch account in Japan, to Japanese Switch or PlayStation account, you can actually get there. But all that aside, though, let's move on to number seven. All right, next up, we got twins from Genshin Impact, which are, which, are, which I believe their names are Aether and Lumine. Let's go. All right, next up, we've got Aether and Lumine from Genshin Impact, and and, and Sakurai. Please add them in. I love Genshin Impact. It's, it's it's one of my favorite games of 2020, and I've been playing it a lot ever since it. Uh, 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 um, uh, ever since it became a very viral game, I, 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 I mean, and it's not as popular as, as Fortnite, Fall Guys, or Among Us. But the game is 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 a very trending game right now, and I really hope that it happens. And the moveset potential would be awesome. They could um and 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 and, and, and either of them means moveset would be so awesome. They could like have. And, and, and uh, um, they could, they could use like a sword or something for like their main attack, or a special attack. They could like, lose a stab or something, or, or, or Paimon could have like a special ability, or or and and and, 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 and for their smash attack, they could like have some, um, um, they could like use Paimon to like guard or something, and 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 and, and head bunker or, or something. Or, 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 like, grant them a special power, like, a sort of kind of power to something. That could happen. Oh, and, 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 for their, and for their final smash, it would be so cool. They could, they could do, like, a special ability. And, and that would just be really cool. And maybe they add them as DLC. Maybe, the, maybe they'll add assist trophies or me costumes. Of other Genshin Impact characters like Kaya, Lisa, Barbara, Amber. I mean, the possibilities are so endless, and they have like a special stage based on the um. And, and, and they can use Mondstadt as a stage if, if they add if, if they add the Genshin Impact twins as DLC. And it would just be so awesome. And they, and they got and, and they got like Paimon as like a spirit and as like a. And 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 gonna be part of their move set too, and and it can all be based on based on their abilities in the game. So yes, I really want this. I I hope it happens. Genshin Impact is a game that uh, 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 it's one of the games that, that, that I've been playing a lot. Twenty twenty, it's one of my favorite games of the year. So I really hope it happens. If you try, if you, have, if you haven't tried it yet, but you have a PC, a phone, or a PS Four, go try it. Plus, it could be um and a good way to to, to promote a, a, a um a Switch version of Genshin Impact, which is, which I believe is in development. So if it, um uh, um uh, so if Mahoyo is doing which they are because I believe they're doing a Switch version, it, it, it would be a good move to have to, um to have Aether and Lumine in the game, have Monster as a stage, and have and and and, and yeah, and and, and and then they got kind of all their sword powers. Or it could evolve Paimon, or like their special abilities, yeah. But let's move on to number six. Six up, we've got Dixie Kong from the Donkey Kong series. Let's go. Alright, so yep, yeah, like I said, we've got... We've got Dixie Kong um, next. Dixie Kong would be really fun to use. Um, her moveset could evolve 
um, uh, it, it could involve her, uh, it could involve her using her, her hair as, like, a propeller. It could, like, attack with her hair, like, sling it, and, and, and like, slash, like, a sword or something. But, like, her spinal smash, um, it, it would be really cool, too, as it, as it could be something about it. And, and maybe, like, she could also use her, 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 her bubble gum gun and, it's, it's, and, and, and shoot it at the players to, like, sticky them. And that would just be really awesome. And and, and they have a stage from for, from for 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 for, for one of the Donkey Kong games. I think I think if, if they want to add a Donkey Kong character, it'd be the best way to go. I, I, I mean, there's, there's probably other characters they add. But Dixie Kong has some good requests. So I, uh, and 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 I I just think it would be a really cool character to have. So, so yeah, and and. and and, and, and she could attack kind of like Shantae would, who I really want too, even though she's not on this list, and there's other characters I want. So yeah. But let's move on to number five. Alright, so next up we have Rex and Pyra from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Alright, so next up we have we have Rex and Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and and I think this could definitely happen. Now, although, yes, Rex is a me costume, I know, but the thing, Sakurai was actually going to have him in the base game, but, but he cut him and made him a me costume and said, if you buy the Fire's Pass 2, or, or not the Fire's Pass 2, but the Fire's Pass 1, due to time constraints, bear the thing, that was due to time constraints to get the game to release really by the end of 2018, and by the holidays of 2018, but look, now Sakurai has all the time in the world to add new characters. So yeah, Rex could could, could be a really good character choice with Pyro like a second skin. No, now I have yet to play Xenoblade Chronicles 2, but I think they have but I think they would have a really good move set. They could like use his blade or something, and like any like special attack for know how they would, I don't really know how a, a special attacks work because I've yet to play Xenoblade 2. But I really want to. It looks like a really fun RPG to play. It could be like, and that's like based on like their special abilities, and they could like, and they could like use some kind of summon or it gives some kind of they could use some kind of a summon to do it. I don't really know how it would work, but since I haven't played Dino Boy Broncos too, but I really want him in. I think it would be a really cool character to have. Although yes, he's a me, yeah. Although yes, he's a me costume. Sakura really wanted him to be in the game, so I think it could definitely happen. So let's go on to number four. Wait, 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 I forgot to do something. We got Sora, and I really hope this happens. Let's get into it. Next up, we have Sora from the Kingdom Hearts series. And please add this Sakurai. Please. Yeah, yes, I hope this happens too, because I love the Kingdom Hearts series, and I love Square Enix games as a whole. As all of you guys know, I mean, I just made a video, I just made a 16-minute video essay about why Final Fantasy VII is my favorite video game of all time, so go check it out if you haven't already. But, but on the side, though, um, 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 now, and, and it could be, especially with Kingdom Hearts 3, because that game, there's like special moveset, there's like special, there's like special attacks you can do, like, like based on like, they're like amusement park attractions. They could use like one of those, and, 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 and the fact that he has a key sword, the key blade, the key blade would be awesome! And he could like, he could like do this smash around, and, and like use it like for like stabbing, and, and, and he could use like, like different like magical spells or something. And yeah, so they won't be able to use Donald and Goofy for his move set because, of course, the character was owned by Disney. Now, some people think he can't get in because Disney owns the character. That's not true because here's the th thing. Well, what is true? They they can't really add any Disney characters, but Sora could get in as long as they don't like really have any like Disney um, characters like with his move set or something. But I think that like that uh, like like with the sword. With, with, uh, it uses like the keyblade for like some awesome stuff and, and everything. So like like perform a dive and like smashing. Like they can like stab characters with this keyblade, and 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 because and, and he has like a lot of more abilities he can do in Kingdom Hearts three. Um, I I, I it could definitely happen. But let's move on to number four. I mean number three. All right. So now we're not just including one character, or I guess two. 
But we're actually include basically like a set of characters. Yep. Because we're including the the, the Pokemon Sword and Shield Trainers with the with the, the fun evolution of the Galar starters. Let's go. Yes, yeah, so like I said, I'm not just going to one here. I'm not, just, I'm not just getting one or two characters here. I'm actually including a set of characters. I really want Victor and Gloria, which I'll be able to name the Pokemon trainers and Sora and Shield, even though you obviously get to name them. Just like when with Aether and Lomine from Genshin Impact, like I talked about earlier. But anyway, I really want them to add the Galar Stars in like their final forms. It would be a really unique moveset. It'd be, uh, 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 also, excuse me. But anyway. It'll be really good. It'll be good too to promote Pokemon Sword and Shield and its DLC, especially the recent release of the Crown Tundra, uh, 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 as they could have the Galar starters. Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, um, okay, okay, basically be like be like Pokemon trainer, but with the Galar starters, and it could be like the final evolutions of them all. They can they, they can choose the the male or the female trainer, and, and they make a trick to, to like choose, and it'll switch around. Uh, 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 which of the three stars when you choose between Gorilla Boom, Cinderace, and Tell and they can have like and, and they can like punch or something and like you and, and like use like grass, fire, water for like or, or special attacks and everything. Gorilla Boom can like uses drums and Tell can use like snipe shot for like a special move or something. And 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 Maybe like a Gigantamax for like their for their, their final smash. That'd be awesome. And they can and they can, and they can use their their and and, and, and Cinderace and Italian could all like Gigantamax use like their their, their G Max move for like their special power, like like their like signature move. And and, and, and I, I would love that to happen. It's been since the fifteenth anniversary of. I'm at, I'm at the 15th anniversary, but the but the one year anniversary of Pokemon Sword and Shield's coming up. I think it'd be a really good move. It'd be good to it'd be good to promote the game and stuff. But let's move on to, to number two. This is probably the most requested character. All right, so next up we've got probably the most requested Smash Bros. character. And this is this has been a highly requested character. He's been a Sis trophy, but why is he a character yet? Let's let's get into it. Yeah, next up we've got the lanky purple man. No, it isn't Barney. We've got Waluigi. Waluigi! And why... And why does Sakurai keep rejecting Waluigi? Everyone wants Waluigi in Smash. I don't really know that many people who don't. Just just like the next character we'll be talking about. Waluigi has always been a staple to the world of memes. I mean... I don't want Waluigi's crying right now because he didn't smash. Because Waluigi would have an awesome move set. They could like use like and, and they could like use like, the, the tennis court from like the Mario Tennis games as as as, as a stage or Waluigi pinball. And it, and it could like punch and kick like a special attack or like or like or use a tennis racket like he does when he's an assist trophy. I mean like for his final smash, he could like use water powers like he does in the Mario Sports game, which really shows why Waluigi should be in Smash. It's really sad why the Waluigi hasn't caught a chance to sign a Smash, but since since Sakurai disrespects Waluigi, after all, during the Smash Bros. for Wii U's 3DS days, he would make fun of Waluigi on Miiverse, saying just because you try hard doesn't mean you you can't get in. H um, how dare you, Master Hero Sakurai? You're a great person. So what? And and, and and thank you for making this, the Smash Bros. series. It was a great idea. And thank you for making Smash Ultimate um one of the best, which is like the best fighting game ever. But where is Waluigi? I really hope this guy gets in. His, his moveset would be awesome. He like punch and kick. He gives the tennis rackets. He uh, um he gives like Waluigi pinballs like a stage and. And, and and he could use all these like water powers. Yes, it would be so unique. Let's get into number one. The number one character that I want the most, the one that I've been that I, I've been screaming and shouting about to get in Smash. All right, I bet you saw this coming at some point. But yes, let's get into it. 
All right, so next up we've got Gino. And please, please, get this character in. And you, you want to know why? I feel like this character's actually pretty likely. You want to know why? Because Masahiro Sakurai actually said he's, he's actually wanted to add him since Brawl, but couldn't do the conflict with Square Enix. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. We already have Cloud from Final Fantasy VII and, and the hero from Dragon Quest series in Smash Bros. So they have those. Gino can, can easily get in, and I hope so. Gino has been a, 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 and Gino, a, 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 a Gino has been one of the most prominent and most common Smash requests ever since the, the, the Wii U and 3DS days. And he got it as a me costume then, but that me costume didn't return in Smash Ultimate. He only had a spirit. But now he could become a full-fledged character. So yes. But what does Moveset be? Well, he can attack with his with his star guns, whatever they are. He can, like attack with those, and, like shoot with them and stuff. Uh, and, and he could use like his Geno Beam or Geno Whirl or something like that for like his um for, like a special move. That would be so cool. And, and he can like uh, uh, yep and 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 he can like uh, yep, he can, he can use a, a star his star guns. And be like really awesome, and, and be like really cool, and and it could be like, and and and, and, and yep, and, and have, like the best move set ever. Anyway, guys, thank you guys though for watching this video. That actually wraps up for this. I'll see you guys next time. HNS out. Also remember to like and subscribe, and turn on notifications. Let me and let me know your thoughts. Let me know what characters you want. As I respect all comments.